Hi there, in this video today, I'm going to show you what you could do if your laptop said lock in, turned itself down, and now you can't turn it back on. That's exactly what happened to my wife earlier on. This is a Toshiba laptop running Windows 10. The same thing will apply to other Windows machines. So basically, it is now plugged into the Toshiba power supply here, but yeah, there's no lights on it whatsoever and it wasn't turning on it was completely dead so apparently she was using it it came up with locking and then it shut itself down and now it's completely dead believe it or not I looked at this for about 20 minutes before I worked out the problem. Hence the reason I'm doing a video, because maybe it might be as simple for you as it was for me. Obviously, if there's a hardware issue with the laptop itself, this isn't gonna fix it. But if it happened to me, it's gonna to happen to many other people. It's nice and simple. What happens is the battery died on it when she was using it, and it shut itself down to protect itself because it knew the battery was about to die. Then when you plug in your power supply, it should work. But in this instance, the power supply has failed and that's the reason it's not working the laptop itself is absolutely fine and operating like it should be so watch this if i get another toshiba power supply this one here is the same voltage as this one here if i plug it in both 19 volts and also it's the same barrel jack at the end watch this plug it in here and all of a sudden it comes to life i've got a little light here now and if i turn it on it will work perfectly because we're putting charge back into the battery. Right, well, how do you test your one? Well, it just depends if you have a multimeter. If you haven't got a multimeter, you're gonna find it hard, or hopefully you might have other power supplies with the same barrel jack on them and the same voltage. If you're wondering about the voltage, if you look closely at them, you can clearly see. Output 19 volts DC, 3.42 amps. It doesn't matter that the amps are slightly different. The laptop's gonna draw what the laptop's gonna draw, but if you put one in with lower amps, it might mean that it takes a long time to charge up. Anyway, if you have a multimeter, what you need to do is set it to DC, which is that symbol there. And we need to go onto the barrel jack. We're gonna put the black one on the outer probe and the red one on the inner one in here. And then if you have a look, we're not registering anything here, completely zero, because this power supply has failed. Well, if we go onto this one here and do the same thing, you will see that we have 19 volts there. So this power supply is working absolutely fine. Now, if you put it in the wrong way, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna come up with a negative reading on your multimeter. You can see there the minus symbol before it. So that is it. On your failed one, what you can do is you can check the fuse just in case it is as simple as a blown fuse. In this instance, it isn't, but let me just show you. Pop the fuse out and put your meter to continuity or ohms reading. This one here will beep when I put it to continuity. So when I hit the leads together, it will make a beeping noise. And if I go across the fuse, you can see the fuse itself is okay. So it's not the fuse, it is the actual power supply that's failed. So that is it. If we plug in the working one, we will be able to turn on our laptop again and everything will be working fine as it always was. So it isn't actually a fault with the laptop. More than likely, it's a fault with your power supply. You can see now that it's booting up. There we go. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.